Gang, 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 what's poppin' with y'all, man? Welcome back to Mess Free Podcast. Everybody hit that subscribe and that like button, gang. While we get into this introduction, y'all already know what up, man. Man, you bitch niggas better end your butt elevate. I need six figure money, won't have the bucks and hella cake. Fuck boy, I've been on dummy, shootin' hella ops, make them a day. If not him, then kill his mama, make him feel his wrath in the hell away. Hydro shock, but it's all in through his chest, watch as they swim away. I don't stop shooting till you die in your last breath, and then I skid away. This a hollow tip, give Gang, gang, gang. What's cracking, y'all? Hey, welcome back. Like I said, is your block worth dying for? That's the topic. Is your block worth dying for? Um, I don't think no block worth dying for, honestly. <clears throat> I'm going to be real. I don't think no block is worth dying for, big dog. And I say that because I, I just literally... Seen a nigga last night who put his life on the line, gang, because, you know, to himself, it was worth dying for. He put his butt, you know, before his life. It was worth dying for. And me, honestly, I'm asking myself, I'm like, is your block worth dying for? Like, would you really die for your block? I know some stupid niggas out here that would. I know some stupid niggas out here that would. They die for the block and not care. Like, gang, I wouldn't. You got me fucked up. I ain't dying for no block. I ain't dying for no block. Some of you niggas won't even die for your country, but you'll come die for your block. Like, what really got into you? You know what I'm saying? That right there, that makes me look at life and the people that deal with life out here, you know, that don't give a fuck about their life. That makes me look at them like, wait, this shit worth dying for? This shit worth putting your life on the line for a game. You know what I'm talking about? Like it really don't be your blocks ain't going to save you. That block going to be here when you die. Mm -hmm. That block going to be here when you die. None of you niggas going to be able to withstand the wrath that come behind you trying to die for your block. None of the niggas that's rocking with you on that block, that's selling dope on that block, going to die for that block. They don't give no fuck about that. They don't give a fuck about that hood. That section, that area, none of that shit. Nowadays, people out here they block banging. This shit went a long way from gang banging. They block banging, and when you block bang gang, it don't make no sense. It's already, you know what I'm saying? Like wishy washy. Half of the time, half of these niggas that block bang, they don't even know why they block banging. They don't. All they know is you feel me, the big homie that brainwashed they ass, put them on this. Cause you better believe it's a big homie that brainwashed them that put them on this. They got them out here doing all that stupid ass shit, robbing people, stealing for the block, telling you to go make ends meet for the block. You feel me? Telling you to bring bring uh, funds and, and, and whatever you go collect back to the block so they can eat off you while you watch these niggas not do shit. While you watch these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Throw you under the bus, talk about you. Oh, yeah, that's the store runner. I'm talking about gang. I see a nigga last night do that, gang. One of my closest friends. Threw his life away. Threw his life away only because he loved that block so much. And I'm asking his people, like, why? Why would he? Why? He died for that block. Why? Like, was it important? Was it worth it? They like, hell no. You know what I'm saying? He ain't had nothing invested in the block. He didn't own the house on the block. All he did was sell dope on the block. Gang, that's the most stupidest shit to me ever. You feel me? It's not like you putting in real work on that block. Legitimate work. You know what I'm saying? Where the, the, the city could recognize your work. The government could recognize your work. I'm just saying, it's not like he was really putting in damage on this block. Not real violent damage, but damage on this block to where his name can be ringing bells on this block. None of that was taking place. All I know is this man lost his life for the block because he told niggas, y'all can't come over here and sell no dope. Y'all can't come over here and sell no dope. That's what he told these motherfuckers. And you know what they told him? Nigga, come get it like Tyson then, nigga. And it was a shootout, you feel me? Come get it like Tyson, nigga. That's what they told him. And me, you feel me? I'm oddly thinking, I'm like, gang, you know, we try to talk some sense in them. Gang, you ain't got to go through that, gang. That's the hard way of living. You ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to even, you're like, no, I got this, dog. This is what it is, you feel me? 
I already know my, I'm a real G. I'm a real gangster. I'm a real gang. It ain't like you might be about that life, but life ain't about that. Some of you niggas, you put yourself in situations that you ain't got to be in. You ain't got to be. Come on, gang. It's a lot of situations and and uh 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 uh. uh, uh, uh positions that you ain't got to be in you know uh some of y'all uh that's how you was raised and 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 the moment a motherfucker come bust your head a moment a motherfucker come wake your bitch ass up because you know you didn't recognize and you don't want to pay attention you don't want to take your time to stay in your lane and stop diving in other folks lane you fuck you know you fuck you really fuck and and i hate to say it but i'll be seeing some of the black people out there gang they be going through it you know some of my melanated people I can't, I can't really say I've seen some of, you know, my other race people get fucked up because they don't be in a position where they get fucked up, but it'd be my people. They'll die for their block. The only block getting fucked up because the block ain't theirs. It's another nigga block. Now, both of you niggas think this is your block. Y'all want to own it. Y'all want to put a title to it. The moment you stop titling the things, gang, you're going to live a little longer. The moment you recognize everything got to get let go, gang, you're going to live a little longer. The moment you recognize, man, you in a shell. You ain't going to be here forever. It's temporary. You're going to live a little longer. That boy didn't want to live a little longer. He died for his block. He died for the cause, you know, and the cause ain't dying for him. The cause ain't finna go take care of his kids. The cause ain't finna go, you know, to his baby mama house here. I know bro died. He died for the block here. He go a couple thousand, take care of them shorties, make sure they in school, get clothes, all this, that, and other. No, that ain't finna happen. Y'all know that ain't finna happen. What black motherfucker you know out here doing that? And if they is doing that, we don't know about them. I'm going to tell you why. Because they behind the scenes. Them not the people we see. Them not the people we run into. You know what I'm saying? Them not the people we're going to run into. They behind the scenes. They putting work in behind the scenes, gang. A lot of y'all, like, you be wishing you that man. You ain't that man, you know? And the block ain't yours. So you got to live like that, gang. You got to live like that. Would you die for your block? Is your block worth you dying? Worth you losing your life? Or a family member of yours losing their life? Young black brothers and sisters, stop thinking like that. You know, stop. Stop. Period. I had me fumbling over words. Just stop. It's sickening, man. We watching people die back to back for nothing, losing their life. Stop, stop thinking like that, gang. Anyway, I love y'all, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned in, stay tapped in. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that comment, and hit that share button, gang. Because I know a lot of y'all watchers do not subscribe. You feel me? Get your big head ass over here and subscribe, gang. I'm out. Gang, 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 what's up, man? This your boy, Colonel Slaughter, man. Welcome back to the Street University. I'd like to thank all y'all who came out, you know, gave me a little bit of your time by coming to my channel, both channels watching the video. I really appreciate y'all, man. And those of y'all that did not hit the subscribe button as you step in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Those of y'all that did not hit that like button as you step in or step out, you feel me? Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Make sure my views match my likes, gang. So y'all can keep me in the algorithm and keep me moving and grooving, you feel me? How y'all have been doing, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know I love y'all. Without y'all, it wouldn't be me. So, man, I'm out.